Well, it was very close to me as a schoolboy, born in, bred in Buxton, Derbyshire, um, captain of my school team. Um, I left school, went to work as an apprentice motor mechanic. Um, they wouldn't let me have Saturday afternoons off to play football, so I very quickly left there and I got the offer to sign for Rotherham and it was the start of my career in football, which lasted, um, I think it was 18 years. I managed to play over 600 games and score over 200 goals. That was my one and only goal for Rotherham. Um, the following game after the debut with Aston Villa uh, was the League Cup against Notts County and uh, Dave Watson was actually marking me that day and um, I managed uh, to score a goal in the second half um, and we won the game 1-0. And a month later Notts County came chasing me and uh, I took up the chance to, uh, to play first team football. It's a, an absolutely fantastic honour um, in view of the players that played for the club. Tommy Lawtons, Jackie Sewells, Jeff Astle, Tony Haitley and, and many, many more. Um, I just think it's, um, it's not something you think about as a player. It, it's now in, in my later years I reflect on my football career and I feel very honoured and privileged to at this stage of, uh, of the history of the club to, to hold that, uh, that record. Absolutely fantastic. The best player I played up front with, very difficult because lots of uh, very good players, but uh, I think I had probably have to go back to the best year that I had, scoring goals for Notts County when I think I got um, 23 that season and that was playing with Tony Haitley. Um, it's my only year at Notts County when I wasn't the main striker, the man on the far post that was winning balls, laying them back. I played off of Tony. I talk about managers being ahead of the time and he spent a lot of his days over in Holland with a coach called Willie Curver and he brought that into Notts County and he moulded us into, t into a team. But, uh, my role as a striker was in and around the penalty box, creating chances for others and scoring goals. Otherwise I wasn't really doing my job. We learned how to win matches not only at home but away as well. Don, Don was a skipper. Don was a far better player than League Two, uh, or League Four as it one was then. Um, he came down from Middlesbrough, who were the top flight club, to play with the fourth division club. Um, and he was a captain, constantly on to all the players if they didn't do the right things. Um, and that continued up into the the, the, the third division, second division, and then he moved on to QPR and then went on to play for Scotland. So he's uh, seen by a lot of fans uh, that go back to those days as the greatest player ever to play for Notts County. Um, and he, he certainly, in my mind, is one of the, um, the, the best players. As a midfield player, attacking midfield player, his special talent was if there was four or five passes on, he always picked out the right pass. Yeah, fantastic player. I've had uh, 25 years, very happy years, working for Notts as a player and on the commercial scene. I've also had 12 very happy years working for Nottingham Forest on the commercial scene. I've seen lots of ups and downs with both clubs. Um, I've got to meet many, many uh, very passionate supporters of both teams and two years ago when Nottingham became the very first city of football I felt very proud and I believe that that put Nottingham as a city and football on the map. So I'm absolutely delighted that uh, both clubs, particularly after they've just celebrated 150 years as league clubs, have been honoured into the Hall of Fame.